what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte you reacts here tuning in with some more vikings today uh let's go watch the episode man let's go watch the episode i don't have much to say about what's going on right now i don't know um the, where where is ivar and vitz are going like where are they leaving to go um I don't know, maybe they're going back to Kattegat. How is that going to work out? I don't know, because it was a very touching moment between him and Igor, though. That was, uh, in my opinion, done very I, I don't know why this was happening. But, you know, some people in the comment section were saying that, um, was telling me that, you know, Oleg is definitely dead. So, Okay. Um, as I said, I'm going to be super disappointed in that storyline if that's how it ends. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to talk about it because I don't want to speak too negatively about what's happening now. Because I will have my review. Let's just see how it ends and how I feel about it first. I don't want to start talking now and then something happens in the next couple of episodes. And then I have to backtrack. So... Let's just go watch the episode. I will see you guys for the review. Uh, let me let me let me say this and get this off my chest before I move on because I know you know not everybody I know there are plenty of people out there that are still enjoying these final episodes and i'm gonna be honest i'm i'm not really enjoying watching this like okay so we just completely threw the roost thing out the window and we're going back to england now that's <laughs> you know what i mean like uh, and you know even even the other day even alexander which you know you know, he came back, he's like, he's watching it with me and he's seeing all the flaws now. Because if you watch it straight up, binge the 10 episodes, you know what I'm saying? You might, you know, get some enjoyment out of it. But when, for me, it's just, it's like this. It's like this when I watch shows, right? I am, I remember plot points. A lot of people, they don't remember plot points. They have literally four episodes left. For you to convince me that this was a great ending or this is a good ending for a season for for a series that's been going on for six seasons you have four episodes left to convince me that you can create a good ending and right now i don't see that happening i'm just being honest i don't see that happen i pay very close attention to storylines in whatever i watch and if you don't continue those storylines or give a clear concise satisfying ending to something that has been so good for four seasons right and you know as i said season six part one was going well because i was really interested in the ruse the ruse um storyline it was really interesting. Got their ass whooped. They came back. Killed, you know what I'm saying? You can say, you know, they killed Bjorn. Which is, you know, in my opinion, the last great. In my opinion. Not to say all the heroes are dead. I was never a big Ivar fan. And I'm going to tell, tell you guys why I was never a big Ivar fan. Yes. He's impressive. I was never... Is his bloodlust was always like a turn off for me with his character. His bloodlust, the way how we go about things. A lot of people say, Oh, he's like he's a lot like Ragnar. No, he's not. No, he's not. Stop lying. Stop lying to yourself. Okay. Ivar has qualities of of Ragnar. Yes, he does. You know what I'm saying? And I can understand why Ragnar, even the flashback flashback. In this episode, when you see him telling him to be ruthless, right? Um, and I get I get all of that. But to say he embodies exactly who Ragnar was is completely, completely even understating the type of person who Ragnar was. You know what I'm saying? 
Ragnar live, breathe everything you want to to see in a in a leader first and foremost. You know what I'm saying? Like you want him, you want your leader to have those kind of qualities. You know what I'm saying? When you're called to be a leader and you don't even want it, but it's just so strong, leadership qualities are just so strong with you that you're just it's just hard to avoid you. It's hard for people not to follow you. It's very easy for people to not to not follow Ivar. It's real easy. It's really easy to not follow him. You know what I'm saying? Really easy. He forces leadership. He rules by fear. All of those things he doesn't have. Right? That's that's the that's the thing about Ivar. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't a big Ivar fan. A lot of people out there are big Ivar fans. Um, I'm just not one of those people, right? And I'm not saying you're wrong, but that's your preference. That's fine. Um, but as I said, the storylines that they're doing, like, there's a scene in this episode, right? The whole Vitzert thing. Like, why did that even happen? Like, let's be happy. Let, let, let's, let's just be honest right now right why did that happen what why did it happen like was there a necessity for that to happen was there was there a necessity for 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 them to put that scene in there him having sex with a god and then him going out into the rain crying was it necessary or did we just waste a whole five to ten minutes off the episode on something that was unnecessary they could have at least at the end of the episode showed us what was going on in wessex that would have gotten us gotten me excited for the next episode but they didn't they just ended it on a live R, which you know we all know harold is going to be jealous over that but i'm tired of that that storyline is, is is you know after all of that to 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 try to create conflict now where where there shouldn't be any conflict because Ivar came in the room. It just convolutes the storyline to the point where you're like, okay, what are we doing here? This is not season two. You get what I'm saying? This is not season two of a series. This is season six of a series. And I hate to have to come on here and talk about a show that I, that I love so much. I hate to have to come on here, but I have to speak the truth of how I feel about it. They took out, they took off all the great actors off of the show, killed off all of them, right? The best, the best characters in the show, they killed all of them and left us with Ivar and King Harold. That, that's what they left us with. Those are the characters they left, they, they left us with. Ivar and King Harold and Vitzerk. Right, because I, I don't even want to start talking about the Hubei storyline because I don't know where that's going. I have no idea where that's going. I'm just hoping that it leads somewhere. Somebody said in the comment section that it's going to lead somewhere, so I'm waiting for that. So I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to, you know, be down on it too much because it might be a it might be the best ending of the of the series. It it, it might be the best ending that we get out of all the endings or the the, the, the wrapping up of every storyline in this story. It might be the best. It might be the one that I talk about the most at the end. So I don't want to mention that too much. I'm just seeing where that's going and see where it's going. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they're going to survive or if they're not going to survive, is Floki going to show up and save them? I don't know. You get what I'm saying? But we're talking about the main storyline, the thing that's supposed to keep this thing going you know what I'm saying? No, we going back to Wessex. And I'm just like, uh, I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. You're talking four episodes. What are you going to convince me in four episodes of a battle to be taking place against Alfred? We all know in the history they lose. So going back there and not, it, it just to me... We all know the Vikings did not prevail in England. We know this. It's, it's written in history, right? And if they're going to go the history route, which they have kind of been doing, you know, the battle versus Wessex, Alfred, you know, negotiating with the Vikings and all that, 
let's see how things go because four episodes in my opinion is not enough to go start another storyline in england all i'm trying to say is that they should have just kind of in my opinion they should have just wind thing down maybe have another battle between the ruse and Kattegat and see how that turns out maybe annihilate the the, the, the ruse christians or whatever and something let freaking oleg um you know rise from the dead in three days that's what i was expecting from the storyline but that's not how it's going and i'm not salty because that's not where they're going with that storyline i'm just disappointed that the way how they ended that storyline it just it's not satisfying at all like yeah oleg was an asshole and he deserved to die regardless of if it's freaking whoever killed him regardless of if it was ivar you know what i'm saying or igor that killed him it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the fact of the matter is was extremely unsatisfying out that how that storyline and and i'm not gonna stop saying that it was because it was for me and this is just this is just my opinion and as i said i still want to see how the story ends so i know a lot of i know people are going to say if you don't like the show don't watch it but the point of the matter is i'm already six seasons or you can say five seasons invested into the show five and a half seasons invested in the show so i want to see how it ends god knows i didn't expect them to to completely ruin game of thrones with the ending but they did i still watched all six episodes of season eight because i still want to see how it ends you get what i'm saying so if i'm that much into a series it's just like how sons of anarchy um where, where i'm watching season what was it season six right now right i think i just started season six right and i'm saying this was the first time I watched Sons of Anarchy at the beginning of a season and it wasn't it wasn't the greatest start. You know what I'm saying? All five seasons of Sons of Anarchy before had really great beginning episodes. Really great. Like I'm talking about top notch stuff. You guys have seen me if you watch my Sons of Anarchy reactions, you know that I always rave about those episodes ones of the season season six was not it it was good but it wasn't as good so here we're going now with the decline of quality in opening episodes for seasons you know what i'm saying and i don't want to say they're losing focus at this time but if it goes downhill i'm going to say that sons of anarchy go downhill i'm not going to sugarcoat it for you you know what I'm saying? And as we can see here, this was a extremely like episode where I'm just like, okay, where are we going now? You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going back to England. We got Vitzer crying in the rain. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm listening to all the dialogue that is happening, you know. Ingrid warning them is like, oh, if y'all get bored, y'all just gonna turn against each other. I get it. So Ivar had to, you know, he sees everything that is going on. You know what I'm saying? Like you got the gambling, they're living in peace and stuff like this. And they're just, you know, it's just not the Viking way. And I called it when he, when he saw everything that was happening, dude, basically trading his, his, his ring, you know, his, his arm ring or whatever. I don't remember what they call it, but he traded it in for money, right? Or maybe he was paying a debt. I don't know what it is. But, you know, it's like, you know, living in, in peace, they, it doesn't seem like they, 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 they remember their Viking ways. And I, and I, and I totally understand that. Um, and the idea is great. You know, the seer came to him and is like this and that and whatever. And he came to the conclusion that that's where they need to go and go take care of business over in England. And I'm all for it. It's just that, do we need that? at the end of the series you get what i'm saying N now it feels like you're going to rush things that's how it feels to me now it feels like you're going to rush the end of the series now to get a couple of battle scenes in four episodes left this should have been happening from 
from maybe the second episode of, of this last part of the season. They should have dealt with stuff in those first couple of episodes. Okay, we're gonna kill we, we're gonna kill off Bjorn's character. Fine. We can do that. Right? That's fine. We totally understand. We could do that. We could kill off Bjorn's character. Not you know what I'm saying? Fine. Do that in the first episode. Second episode, you get what I'm saying? Create something should have been happening already. And we should have already been in England. Give yourself enough time to kind of develop that storyline. You cannot do that in four episodes of 40 minutes. I don't know how long the last episode of the series is going to be. I could check. You know what I'm saying? I could check to see how long that is going to be. But I don't have no hopes that it's going to be one hour. You know what I'm saying? I have no big hopes about that. It could be a one-hour episode. It could be... Let me see the runtime of it. Right? Every episode... Until the end of the episode is 40-something minutes. None of them is one hour for the last four episodes. So, I don't expect nothing big and spectacular happening in those episodes. I'm just being honest. All of them is 44 minutes. 44 minutes, last one... Of, it is 49 minutes. The final episode is going to be 49 minutes. That's the runtime. So five extra minutes. How are you going to establish a whole, not even a new storyline? It's an old storyline, but it's going to be new because it's going to be the actor, King Alfred, is going to be older and all of this other stuff. How are you going to do this? Let's see if they pull it off, is all I can say. Anyways, guys, that is all I have to say. I know this seems like a rant, but. That is how passionate I am about this series and wanted to see it go out with a bang. And throughout these um, six episodes that I've watched so far, throughout these six episodes that I've watched so far, they have done pretty much maybe one or two things that impressed me. Um, and that's just my opinion. And I know it may feel like I'm being overly critical of the show and you might be enjoying it, but that's you. You get what I'm saying? For me, I'm just not enjoying it. If you feel like you need to dislike the video to, you know, to, you know, show your appreciation, then fine. You know what I'm saying? You don't agree with what I'm saying. That's okay, too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to keep saying this in the review because I have to say this. They're not doing the greatest of jobs. And I'm just saying, I'm still looking forward because people are still telling me it gets better. Four episodes left. Hopefully it does. Like, comment, dislike, whatever y'all choose to do. I got my two cents out there. When a series is good, I'm going to say it's great. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it's great when it's great. If it's bad, I'm going to say it's bad. That's just how I roll. I got to be honest. I'm not going to come come on here and sugarcoat things when things, are, when things are terrible. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm trying to be as critical as possible and judge the show for what it is um uh, i'm not falling asleep watching the, watching the show because i want to pay attention to the dialogue and what's happening and that's what i'm saying like in, in my opinion and, and a lot of people have said that this show should have ended after season four it should it should have ended season five was absolute garbage in my opinion there was there were some good moments don't get me wrong and that's the thing like i don't watch tv shows to have one or two good moments a season if you're producing, you know what I'm saying, in, in terms of Vikings where, you know what I'm saying, they were doing 20 episodes a season at once, you know what I'm saying, at one point, right? You have to bring it. And I get it. Things happen. But if things happen and things change, we got to address the changes. We can't just be like, oh, they're doing great, man, even though they're doing bad. Some people just watch things for complete entertainment and i get it for me you got if even if you have the entertainment value the story value gotta be there it's gotta be there man something can't be be trash and you're just praising it over and over again just to make yourself feel good or make your audience feel good if it's bad you just gotta say it's bad you get what i'm saying yes you know i'll see you guys later i've been talking for too long man i'm out <laughs>